Welcome back to the Heart and Home channel, everybody, where we are actively going against the grain of society to pursue freedom and happiness. This week, I think that we are going to be finishing up our wall framing, and that is super exciting. All we have left to do here is the rest of this wall, the rest of the soffit planks on this wall, and then all of these bays here are missing it as well. But after that, we're all done. Uh, then we call for inspection, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, stretch goal here is to start putting in uh, framing for our electrical outlets and light. I got some ideas and products for how we're going to accomplish that and I think that's going to work out just fine. I can't wait to get started. Let's get going. Okay, so one of the issues that I am currently dealing with right now is that this Bore, this post here is a little bit curved in here and so what I'm gonna do is take this board and hammer it in here in hopes that uh, it can sort of take that out a little bit <clears throat> so it fits this direction and we're just gonna smack this sucker in there uh oh well This was a little bit of a challenge last time. Hopefully I can do a little bit better this time around. Go. It's a tight fit, that's good. Okay, that should hold up. Okay, so we've got another problem here. You can see it's flush there at the top and flush here at the bottom, but we've got this lip here. That means that this post here is a bit curved. I'm gonna try and pull this board out using the screw trick, but given that this is a 12 inch board, I am unsure about how much give it's gonna have, but uh, we'll try it out and see. See what happens here. So it seems like the more I dig this screw in, the more I can get it closer here. Well, it's not great, but it'll do. Okay, I think that's gonna work. All right, first one's in. It doesn't look too bad except for the cup in the board there is causing the edges to not quite marry up just right, but it is what it is. Thank you, Jen, for uh, buying me some new gloves. All 10 of my fingers are saying thank you very much. Today, I'm gonna be finishing up cutting last one of these, which is the which are the dog ears for the garage bay over there. It's cuts like these where I am very grateful to have the big mamma jamma saw like this one. I was just thinking this morning, it had been a little bit too long since I've used a ratchet strap. But today, I found another use for it. Just keep adding value.
right, very productive day today and got pretty much this entire front wall done here. I think we only have a little post cut off to put up uh, in the middle of these two bays here and then the then the splash plank on this bay back here and then that wall's done and then back here all I've got to do is the soffit boards and then some splash planks and then we're done with framing. That's pretty awesome. I think it's like a total of 15 pieces or something like that left. Uh, and then we call for inspection and I am really excited about that. Can't wait to hopefully not fail, but probably gonna have at least a few things, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I've never done this before, so who knows. At least until I fail the inspection. Well, hopefully not, but. Yeah, all the required framing is done now. That is super exciting. That means that I can call for inspection. I'm so excited about that. Now, I have been looking more and more at these windows. And as you can see down here, it's a little bit of a sag. And I think I'm gonna try and address that. Um, if I put my Tyvek up on these, and I start moving them around, it's gonna rip it up, and I don't want that to happen, so I think what I'm gonna do is every bay that has a window on it, I'm going to put a two by six underneath the window, hopefully stiffen that up a little bit, and raise those back up, keep everything in the same position. That way we don't have any uh, material tearing as I'm installing all the other stuff. Okay, so one more detail actually that I'm gonna do here before I call for inspection is to kind of refigure how this door is done. It is an inch larger than it should be for this. And that's gonna put this out of alignment with our windows, uh, unfortunately, but um, I'd rather have a door that functions properly than have everything be perfect. So I haven't exactly done this before. So this is probably standard. There's probably something I'm missing here, but this is just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put two two by sixes on either side of here. I gotta figure out a solution that's gonna work for this and I think I got something though. are braced off now that worked pretty well they're pretty straight I would say anyone doing girt, flat girts like this uh, this is almost a necessity Moving forward I will definitely be doing that on all of my future builds if I end up doing it. Interior framing is 100% complete. I am so excited that that's all finished and I feel ready to move on to the next thing. It's inspection day. Ah! I am excited and scared to get this thing over with and uh, hopefully we pass. I'm expecting that there's going to be a missing nail or something at least here and there. So we'll see if uh, I can address those while the inspector is still here. Uh, but hopefully we can get this thing approved and sealed up quickly because I am not exactly excited about having all this snow on here all the time. We passed our inspection, woo! I am so excited. That is very encouraging and I am so happy to get to start putting on the wrap around this building and getting weatherproof. I'm tired of seeing everything all wet. Oh. I am so excited. This is great news. I didn't really want to film it just because, you know, the inspectors are under enough pressure as it is uh, without a camera being shoved in their face. So yeah, but basically he just had a couple notes that uh, I need to put the bracing on the side of the truss here. And I did that for all of the trusses that have like, uh, that are paired with a like truss, but on the end bays and on this one here where they're different, I put them on the side because I wasn't sure if it's better um, to put them like an L shape or or, or flat like I did. Um, so I'll just go ahead and put another board 
up against the side there on each one of those and everything else should be good to go but anyways that's all for this week guys thank you so much for tuning in um if you enjoyed this video or found it entertaining please hit that thumbs up as it helps us a great deal and if you're into doing things a little bit differently to pursue freedom and happiness then consider hitting that subscribe button because we're gonna have we're gonna continue covering our crazy time going through this build and the life that follows but i'll catch you guys next time mm -hmm.